hi beauties you all are welcome to glory beauty world and skincare channel if you are new to this channel you are welcome my name is chinelo and in this channel i share everything that has to do with skincare from formulating organic skincare products to giving you tips and remedies on how to take care of your skin to achieve a beautiful flawless and even toned complexion so you all are welcome and to all my returning subscribers i love you all thank you for sticking with us so let's get straight into the video so in today's video i'll be talking about sunburn and i'll be giving preventive measures that's preventive tips and also um remedies on how you can treat sunburn from the comfort of your home okay so that's what i'll be teaching you in this video so let's get straight into this so what is sunburn okay like the name implies is self-explanatory but let me just let you know sunburn is a type of skin bone caused by the sunlight okay caused by the uv rays okay is a very damaging effect on the skin it causes redness it causes skin cancer it causes discoloration freckles premature aging okay it's very very bad to the skin all right so most of you might be experiencing sunburn depending on the stages okay it has stages okay which i'm going to put on the screen for you to see all right you might not have that redness you might not have that um um skin cancer but you might be experiencing it because you have been neglecting some things okay how to prevent it so redness on the skin is caused especially on the face a lot of you experience that a part of your face is usually red and is painful but you don't know actually what is the cause and it makes you to keep buying um creams whitening products or anything to see if it can stop but it's not stopping from there it moves over to the next stage which is giving you that dark you see i'm going to put it on the on the screen you see that dark darkness on the skin like a burnt effect on the skin so these are signs that your skin has been burned okay so it is very wrong for you to expose your skin to direct sunburn it's not as if you cannot go out okay outside but there are some things you need to do in order to avoid being some bond okay whether you are dark in complexion whether you are fair in complexion you must take note of all this okay and prevent it because it's not good to your skin and if you are using some products skincare products and you're wondering why it's not um effective or why it's not showing or why it's not making your skin to pop out it might be because you are actually doing something wrong which is this particular exposing your skin to direct sunlight yeah so now that you've known what sunburn is and now you've known the damaging effect it is on this on the skin so that's it now you'll be asking what can i do to prevent sunburn because you can you say that you cannot be indoors now yeah we have uva rays we have uvb rays okay these rays have its um disadvantages some sun rays can actually penetrate from your from your windows even without you going outside so that is how bad the sun is to the skin okay it's, you cannot 100 percent avoid it but there are some things you can do in order to um reduce its effect on the skin and if you are this person that is always going out or walking on that hot sun you need to start reducing it okay you need to start reducing it because it's not helping you one you start aging faster two you start having discoloration three you start having um 
skin burns okay which is not good for you so for preventive measures i will advise if you are into skincare if you love your skin i will advise you to please purchase sunscreen sunscreen is very good i will advise you to purchase sunscreen for your skin you apply it before going out so sorry about it dog so we are talking about the sunscreen okay applying sunscreen on your skin before going out will help to reduce the harmful effect of the sun on your skin okay yes so if you are choosing to get a sunscreen for yourself the best sunscreen you should go for is spf 30 and above spf means sun protecting factor okay so you should look for the one of 30 and above okay it will help to prevent your skin from being sunburned all right that's a very good preventive measure and if you don't have um, sunscreen you have to reduce the rates you go outside like when there is hot sun especially in the hours of 11 a.m to 3 p.m those hours have a high rate of possibility that the sun is going to be so hot at that time so i will recommend sunscreens for you to use okay so you should try and look for one you can get one in any supermarket in any good supermarket or a good pharmacy yes you might get one from there so that is it now you know the harmful effect of the sun on your skin and i've given you a preventive measure which is getting a sunscreen for yourself is very important all right also reducing the rate that you expose your skin to sunlight okay and please another thing i want to say is that if you are experiencing sunburn and you are seeing that there is this part of your skin or your face that is red and irritated and painful i will advise you to check the product that you are using if you are using any skincare product that you feel that is harsh on the skin or if it's a whitening product because of its ingredients i will recommend that you stop that product for now the best remedy that you need to use when you are trying to treat some bone is to go natural yes you, sh you, you just have to stop using all those whitening products to see if it's if it can help you to um stop the um the pain or the irritation or reduce the redness okay because if you are using a skincare product that has a handful if a, a handful ingredients in it and you walk under the sun you are not helping matters you are making it worse because from that redness from that pain and irritation it's going to move over to the, the stage that is very very hard to remove which is is going to now get burned okay so that is why you need to please stop when you have some burn just stop using any whitening or any uh, cream that you feel that it can help the only thing that you can apply on your skin when you are trying to clear your sunburn is to go natural yes that's my advice go natural you must know if you are all if you are going to purchase a a cream okay a sunburn cream you must know that person you must know that your skincare um vendor you must know that person that he or she uses natural products natural ingredients to mix the product that they are giving to you in order to clear or suit your pain but if i'm to recommend because i say you should go natural i'm going to be showing you a face cream that i make and i use it okay it's natural you can make it from the comfort of your home i made it the video i'm going to be adding the link to the video 
here okay so under the description box you're going to see it all right i made a face cream for my face this face cream is good and it's made with aloe vera yeah let me show you so this is it all right this is a face cream i made it in the house i made it from the comfort of my home the content of this face cream is just two ingredients i use aloe vera gel and cucumber okay cucumber and i don't have preservative in it i only put it in the refrigerator and anytime i want to use it i apply it so this is very very good aloe vera has a soothing effect okay it helps to clear and reduce redness and irritation which is very very good for treating sunburn yes so if you are experiencing sunburn i would advise you to make this from your home i will advise you to watch the video also i'm going to put the link here it's going to help to suit the pain that it's causing you because i know that the pain is not like it's not easy so this is going to help to suit the redness okay this is how it looks it's a little bit liquidy how i made it is that i got an aloe vera not the fresh aloe vera i got the one that is sell in the supermarket okay it's not here with me but i'm going to put um the picture also for you so what you will do is you get a cucumber and you get an aloe vera okay aloe vera gel you cut a little bit of the cucumber not all you grind it or blend it however one you want to choose then you squeeze it and get extract the cucumber water so when you extract the cucumber water don't make much of it as you can see just a little container that i'm using is going to really serve you well okay so what you do is when you squeeze out when you extract the cucumber water you get like two tablespoons of it put it in a plate you put it in a clean plate make sure that the, your plate is clean you put it in a clean plate two tablespoons of cucumber water then you add two tablespoons of the aloe vera gel you mix it stir it very well until you get a consistency that is not watery it's not supposed to be too watery just let it just be a little bit thick consistency if you watch the video you will understand much better so you now store it in the refrigerator you can apply it either in the morning or in the night you can make it a night cream it also helps to clear your dark spots it's very good some of you neglect the power in natural things it's very effective if you are experiencing the stage of um, sunburn which is the redness the irritation and the pain that you are going through you have to get this get it you can make it in your kitchen get your two tablespoons of cucumber water two tablespoons of aloe vera gel stir it mix it properly and store it in your fridge when you take your bath you apply it at the area the affected areas okay you do it every day you will notice that the pain has reduced because it's very good at suiting the pain it suits irritation and it will start decreasing and as you are applying it on your face you have to stop using any product that you have been using on your face that is not working that is making it worse okay this is very this is 100 natural there is no preservative inside it so to tell you that this is it this is very good not that preservative spoils the skin but this is natural so that is it and now if your stage of sunburn has passed the redness and irritation that it's now burnt like black on both sides the first thing you have to do is to still stop that product that you are using because mostly it's most likely that 
if you are using a product a skincare product that has harmful chemical in it okay there is high rate of you getting sunburned when you expose yourself to the sun than somebody that is not using a harmful or harsh chemical lotion on their skin you that is using a cream that especially the whitening whitening creams that you purchase from anywhere okay you have a high tendency of getting some bond so if you are at a stage that your sunburn is severe what you have to do is to stop using all those um lotions that you are using that you feel that is causing it all you have to do is to still start using this and start exfoliating yes um, if you don't know what exfoliation is, you should also check some of my videos or Google it, okay? Exfoliation is when you use your scrubs, your scrubs that you use, body scrubs, that is, it helps to remove dead skin cells. You, you, when you have gotten to the stage that your sunburn is severe, you have to start exfoliating and start using this that I recommended, okay? That's what that's the two things you should be using. If you can mix these two together, you can get the aloe vera gel and apply it on your face without the cucumber, or you can use that cucumber water. You can extract the cucumber water, put it in a spray, um, a spray container, a spray bottle, and after taking your bath, you spray it all over your face. It's not only for sunburn, it clears dark spots and it gives you a more fresher and youthful look. Yes, so that's the beautiful benefit of cucumber and aloe vera. Okay, yes, that's their secret and it's very effective. So, but if you have gotten to that stage that your sunburn is um, severe, first stop using that um products that skincare products that you're using on your face okay that is not working go natural get this aloe vera gel mix them together when you scrub your face after scrubbing your face and rinsing it off you apply this all over your face that's what you need make sure you are scrubbing three times a week that particular area okay make sure you are scrubbing three times a week and every day make sure that you are applying this on your face you will see results you will see results okay that is it and that's the honest truth i'm going to tell you about this okay you use your scrub on the stage one of the sunburn please i need to tell you don't scrub your face Scrubbing is for people that has already gotten the dark bond on their face already. Those people are no longer experiencing um, irritation or redness, okay? They are only experiencing bond. And if you don't do anything about it, it will become permanent. So scrubbing is not recommended for someone that their own is fresh already. I hope you're understanding me scrubbing is for the people that have already gotten that darkness that have gotten that severe sunburn okay from because if you ignore the stage that is red and irritated the next stage is the one that is fully blown like the dark bond on your face okay so that's why i'm as i'm telling you when you notice that redness and pain on any corner of your face use things that will suit your irritation use things that will calm it down there are other ingredients natural ingredients that you can use to calm that pain down okay that's what you need you don't need to use any whitening product they will only increase the pain and make it all worse okay so for the scrubbing you get any scrub we have some scrubs here if you want you can contact me and i'll give you i'll send some scrubs to you okay so that is it if you have any question just ask me in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel 
okay this is a very amazing community and all i share here is what it's what works for me and my people okay so that's what i always uh, enlighten you people so you will know and this i'm always doing this because i have customers that purchase from me so it so that they will also watch this video and know how to also um protect them their skin from all this okay you might not be sunburned you might not be uh, you might have a very good skin but the, you should also always make sure that you don't skip sunscreen and if you don't have sunscreen avoid the rays that you walk outside under a very hot sun okay i'm not saying that you cannot go outside during the day okay what i mean is that you should reduce it if you are the kind of person that stay outside for five hours under the hot sun please it's not good get an umbrella if you must go out just try as much as you can to reduce the rate that you expose yourself to the sun okay yeah and um try as much as you can to do that to avoid sun sun, sun light that is it that is the 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 highest you can do for your skin try as much as you can to avoid sun light and you must if you like i keep repeating if you must go out try and use your sunscreen and all that so i hope this video is helpful to you if you have any question leave it in the comment section try and share this video to your friends and family it can be um very helpful to them okay and that is it whenever you experience some bone whether it's discoloration whatever it is whether it's tanning anything just make sure that you avoid sunlight as much as you can make sure you do that and use your body scrub as fluid okay and use natural products that will just make your skin to be okay you don't need to be going too much on the whitening because it's a treatment this is a treatment it's not you can skip your 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 skincare products for two weeks or three weeks or a month when it's time to treat your skin you have to be religious about it in order to see the result that you want anything that has to do with treatment of the skin you have to be really just with it and that is it thank you all i'm going to be stopping here if you have any question please leave it in the comment section and if there is any video or anything that you want us to talk about please drop it in the comment section i'll be happy and glad to reply you thank you and you can also follow us on instagram and on facebook thank you so much and see you in my next video bye for now Bye.